what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here in the house once again with some more legend of the galactic heroes today we're going to be doing two more episodes of this series man hopefully you guys are excited to watch some more as i said this is not the most excited anime to watch because it is a political drama it's exciting for me because i get to be in my element of just sitting back and just watching something and enjoying it for what it is and just trying to understand the story and the strategies because this is this is the kind of stuff that i love stuff that makes me think think you know what i'm saying not only because of the characters in the show but also by what the characters are doing in the show so i really do enjoy that it causes for discussions and stuff like that and i can already see why this is highly 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 regarded in the community of anime and held as one of the goals just like maybe evangelion and stuff like that as classic animes go um highly praised anime um i can definitely see why people love this anime so far we are good so the last two episodes man were really good got to know more about you know what's the progression of these characters going on we got to see um siegfried go on his first solo mission um and we also see what um yang wen li is preparing to do taking over this fortress he seems like he's has they have um knights of the rose have infiltrated the fortress successfully but that is yet to be seen how are they going to proceed from here what is going to be the plan but it was definitely brilliantly executed by the one and only yang so yeah let's jump into the episodes and of course guys don't forget to like the video don't forget to leave a comment if you are watching this and you leave to go watch the video the link right to go watch the the the, the reaction please come back and watch the review thank you so much i would really appreciate you guys if you guys do that okay come back and watch my review for the episodes because i really do go into depth about the episodes and talk about the elements that i like versus if i don't like something i will bring it up also so far i haven't found any anything about this plot or anything yet it's way too early to tell anyways but i'm loving what i'm seeing so far no doubt so we're gonna jump into these episodes and i will see you guys at the end for the review No communication still. <laughs> I 
You should have listened. やはりとか。ラーケン艦長を遅れしました。さて、天のために分析証明。これとこれではありません。一秒の遅れが取り返しのつかないことになります。だが、敵が必要な目標しています。あの、地方の射程ギリギリに展開しながら一石二鳥一
Don't bunch up. My guy said, I'm out, bruh. It's too late now, you dummy. Trying to save face. Oh, my God. This is like, are you going to rush in now and get blasted by Thor's hammer? <laughs> Because they only think it's it's the thing about it is this he's right is idiots like that that keeps the war going because of how they think you get what I'm saying is because of how they think they th they, they think the shit is honorable it's not it's stupidity it's it, it's just complete and utter stupidity it's it, it it's stupidity when people look at stuff like that and be like, oh, it's honorable to just commit suicide. <laughs> it's honorable to commit suicide. 
<laughs> Shit is stupid, bro. Um, so in situations like this, it's just hard headedness. You go back, you regroup. That's what you should be thinking. You should be thinking, hey, he's given us a chance to retreat. Why in God's name would I choose in a situation like this? Oh, I'm just going to give up my life, you know, in this full attack that you know you're not going to win. Because they literally just used Thor's hammer to destroy a thousand ships in an instant. And I'm going... I'm going to be like, oh, I'm a soldier. I'm, I'm a soldier. I'm going to die honorably. I Listen, man. Any. If the Empire. Punishes them. For coming back and losing the fortress. You know, if it's a situation where either way you're going to die completely understand but i don't think that would be the situation though i think they could go home and be like yo we got tricked you get what i'm saying you know what i'm saying it's not like you're gonna get i don't think they would just like shoot him on the spot you might get court-martialed but i don't think it's a situation i don't think it's that kind of society where they would just kill him you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? Even though it still wouldn't be justified to put them in jail or whatever because it's just a failed mission. You know what I'm saying? They were to protect the fortress and they got tricked big time. So at the very least, they would dispatch, you know, our boy Reinhardt to go take care of this situation. Um, that's crazy, man. But Yang is right. It is guys like this that's just countlessly just throwing other people's life at a problem and failing over and over again. Yeah, you know I'm saying the ego. It's the ego, man. It's crazy. Wipe him out. さあ、Miracle Yang.
So he decided not to retire. The show is the bomb, man. The show is the bomb, bro. Like, the show is the bomb. And the thing about it is that this is probably one of the first show that I'm, like, as I'm sitting in this chair, I'm remaining neutral. As in, I'm not picking any sides because I just want to see... I love both of these characters. I love Reinhardt. I love Siegfried. I love, you know what I'm saying? I love Yang. So, there's no sides to pick here. I'll, I'm hoping that, you know, in the future, the reason why we're seeing both of these characters is seeing that they have similar goals, but at the same time, very different people. You know, and I think Reinhardt is doing what he needs to do. I'm not sure if he's really striving for peace. I think he's just fighting for the emperor because he more have his goal is more personal than anything else. Um, Yang is more of a big picture guy. You know what I'm saying? He's more of a big picture guy as in. He doesn't like war. He's just doing it because he can. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to retire, but now that he has all these people looking to him for leadership, it's kind of hard for you to walk away from that because as much as you want to get away from it, there's also these lives that are going to be in the hands of somebody else if you leave. And you kind of feel responsible for this for these people now. You know what I mean? And afraid that the next time they go on a mission under some other old dude, old ways kind of leadership and they die in the next mission. You know what I'm saying? So he has to he has to stay on. He has to stay on. I mean, it's too early for Yang to retire. He's he he's an MC, you know what I'm saying? He's an MC. So let's get to the next one. I think was there like an after thing or something? Was this always this long? Jesus, this ending is long. I didn't even realize. <laughs> the ending is hella long. Hella long. All right, let's get to the next one. デルロン要塞は南光フラフではなかったのか。愚か者ども一体何をしようとのか。軍務総長、統帥本部総長、宇宙艦隊司令長官の帝国軍艦長官は国務総長、リシテンラーで公開し、事態を皇帝フリードリ
オーベルシュタイン会社が面会を申し込んでまいりましたオーベルシュタイン例の原水号事業室のことですああそのオーベルシュタインの何をかな確かイゼルロンの司令部でただ一人生きて帰りましたあまり遠いとしてある理由はなさそうですがお会いになりませんかいやとにかくどうしたかはいオーベルシュタイン会社をここにオーベルシュタインはつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつつあえてキルキアイス通常に聞かせたくない話があると思いますだが私が後で話せば結局は同じことだろうそれは無論閣下のご自由ですが閣下の作業を常時されるにはさまざまな異なるタイプの人材が必要でしょうアーにはアーに向いてしまうベイにはベイにふさわしい任務というものがあると思います潜水閣下私は臨時に控えていた方がよろしいでしょうかそうかゼルローンさんは逃亡者です。糾弾されて当然だろうな。ジェイクと警察は強烈な玉砕を遂げたと言います。ボンビアクの指揮官にとって、私は卑劣な逃亡者の一人です。しかし、私は私には私の言い分があります。確かそれを聞いていただきたいのです。筋違いだな。警がそれを主張すべきは私にではなく、軍法会議においてであろう。警は指揮官を補佐し、その誤りを訂正するという任務を全うとしたしかも一心の安全を図るその事実を前にしてはどのような言い訳も無力です違うでしょうイゼルローン急流艦隊機関のただ一人の生存者である私は生き残ったというまさにそのことによって処断されようとしているのですおその通り、私の領には時間がある。弱者に生きる資格なきとしては、あのルドリフは、He probably recorded the entire thing. お分かりですか私は憎んでいるのです。ルドルフは、彼の死者、彼の生み出しはすべてのもの。大胆な発言だな。銀河帝国、いや、ゴールデンバーモーチョは滅びるべき。可能であれば私自身のほど滅ぼしてはならないですが私にはその力量がありません私にできることは新たな覇者の登場に協力することただそれだけです計画よりローエングラム博大にハルトさせるケイは自分が何を言っているのか分かっているのか無論です何度でも言いましょうゴールデンバーモーチョは滅びるべきなのです Yo, he ain't playing. キルヒアイスオーベルシュタイン大佐を逮捕しろ帝国軍人として反逆の現地が帝国軍人として感化できぬしかしなぜこの程度のことを結構ですキルヒアイス中将一人を中心と頼んであなたの狭い道をお行きなさいキルヒアイス救助、私を受けるか、私はこの通りなるべく、それでも受けるか。受けんば、機関はそういう男です。尊敬に値するが、それだけでは閣下の作業の助けにはならない。機会が必ず陰が始まる。しかし、お若い老縁グラム博には、まだご理解いただけますか。キルヒアイス。
帝国と帝国からも、さぞ嫌われたことだろう。あの帝国は、部下の救世主に刺激する人ではありませんでした。よかろう。帝王貴族どもから、顔。He probably recorded the entire thing.
席を立てたわけでもございませんが他の方の席を奪うことはできませんリゼルローン陥落は政府とシトックハウゼン両名の企画によるものだしかも政府と帝国は死をもって罪をあがなくてはならない今危険な敵の獄中にあります他に罪を負うべき者がいるとは思えません何とぞ参照官をおとがめなくよう慎んで陛下にお願い申し上げますさっきはニューヨークだなさっきはそう申しておる。少しはどう思うか。若さに見合わぬ白の権威主義の不信は感じさせられた。君としても国家に対抗ある参照官に対し、寛大なご処置を損ねた。両人がそう思うなら、そうとしても彼らに過酷な処分を知らせなく、今回は国務省長に任せ、話はそれだけだ。あよければだ。では、両人とも下がれ。陛下のご解剖には感謝の言葉もないのですあの小僧の力と栄光は不本意なのだ意外に無欲ではないか何の陛下の前で格好をつけてみせただけだロ,ローエン・グラマスは例のオーベルシュタイン大使に宴席を求めているオーベルシュタインは自分の元帥地を存続させたいと最初に合わせたな拒絶することもできんだろう。我らのみ陛下のご寛容の恩恵によくすわけにはいかんからな。それが狙いとすれば悔いの男だが、しかし、いくらなんでも参照官職を失敗にしてまでとは考えまい。どれもそうだ。参照官の地位などいつでも手に入る。しばらく要論に代わりに差しておいてやろう。大体参照官の地位など、俺にとっては単なる普通家庭に過ぎない。どうしたキルト何か言いたいことがありそうだなお分かりでしょうねお人柄ですおこるなオーベルシュタインを参謀にするという点はオーベルシュタインは危険な男なんです分かっている頭は切れるだろうが癖がありすぎる政府とごときの手に負える男ではなかったラインハルト様の男には負えないそうですか私はあの男に友情や忠誠心を訴えつけはいませんあの男は私を利用しようとしているだけです自分自身の目的を果たすためにはだから私もオーベルシュタインの頭脳を利用しますオーベルシュタイン一人を助手得ないで宇宙の覇権を望むなど不可能だと思わないですか飲むかいいワインが手に入ったいえ今日はまだ仕事が残っておりますオ
Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Two more episodes of greatness. Episode seven and eight. Legend of the Galactic Heroes. That was two very well constructed episodes. Kind of showing us the aftermath of Yang taking over the fortress. Um, now that the Alliance has a fortress, you know, everybody's kind of scrambling over there in the Empire. Um, these three people of the cabinet wanted to treat the three chiefs. They wanted to retire because they feel feel like they were incompetent, so they offered their resignation. Um, but I think the most interesting thing that happened was the Kaiser actually revealing that you think I don't know that he's trying to usurp the throne. You know what I'm saying? So he basically admitted to kind of knowing as there's an inkling, the rumors 
whatever you know and if you know this guy is basically telling me like i feel like like you're giving him too much power you know by keep on promoting him but i wonder what the kaiser has in mind because since he's privy to this and he's not just promoting this guy for his merits what is his plan you know what i'm saying um is like oh if the emperor is gonna go down with this what do you call it the golden bomb i think it's the golden bomb dynasty or whatever um as long as it's like if it's gonna go down it's gonna go down in flames <laughs> right that's what he's saying so if, if it's gonna go down then i might as well just you know go down in flames i don't know what his plan is but they definitely brought him into the picture of things now so we kind of have an idea of you know this whole time i was thinking you know he doesn't care he drinks it looks like he's sick too that's another thing like i think he's sick somehow i don't know but when he walked away from the throne the last time after he spoke to um reinhardt he kind of like stumbled away from the throne unless he's just always drunk i don't know but we definitely learned a lot from these two episodes of who these characters are and of course we have oberstein that survived the the um the attack came home and basically swore filthy to reinhardt to get on his team because he's like listen man i don't like these niggas bro we this empire needs to end which we also find out from a flashback between siegfried and reinhardt that um basically that he has always wanted this he wants the power he wants the universe he wants to change it basically from the inside out so we kind of learned a little bit more of what his mission is um there's you know not a, exactly what his sister not about his sister i should say so to understand what his goal is he basically wants to change the place because he realizes all these nobles they just feel like they can do whatever the hell they want and don't get into any trouble which is you know a direct um it's basically a direct um result it's a direct result of what has been taking place all this time for like 500 years of this dynasty of what was started by this dude <laughs> you know what i'm saying what is his name rolf or whatever is it rolf I don't remember the name of the guy the guy that started it all and then you had the guy that left because you know a group of republicans or whatever they went and formed the alliance so the alliance is basically i would say it's just like you had the they're the imperial um basically society you know what i'm saying so they had kind of have a different kind of mentality you know what i'm saying it's more king and queen shit you know what i'm saying and then you have um then you have the alliance which is more democratic but still corrupt it, and it, it and it's really just showing you that no matter if it's uh like a um if it's like a um what do you call it i i don't remember the, the word is like right there and i can't say it but it doesn't matter if you're living in that kind of society or you know what i'm saying like if you're living in like socialism or communism or democratic you know what i'm saying these kind of societies that we have in the world today it goes to show you that nothing is all hunky-dory whether <laughs> whether you're living under a dictator or you're living on a democrat of course you know what i'm saying like you know there's difference in the in in the standards and also how people live in these different kind of systems right but for the most part the government is practically always corrupted you get what i'm saying and that is being displayed in full format for you that's why i said that this is probably the first series that i've watched where 
I can without a doubt remain neutral and just kind of take in what this story is story is trying to to tell us you know in not in a lot of words <laughs> right so I'm just paying attention to see what's going on and what's going to pop off because at this moment it's tit for tat I think this is the first dub that the Alliance has taken since we've been watching the show this is their first dub by taking that fortress um, and of course you know Yang was welcome home you know what I'm saying cheers all around you know what I mean um, he wanted to retire but because of all that responsibility man he just couldn't do that because of all that responsibility it's just like he felt he felt like he had that responsibility to stay because of all these because of the 13th fleet and i think that's what really grabbed them and caused them to stay so we'll see how that turns out in the future of i i believe there's going to be a peaceful ending to this and that's just my prediction i don't know if it is going to be for all we know these two might end up killing each other at the end of this series um so we don't know they have very similar goals as in they want both of their con um society that you're living in to change reinhardt basically has a better chance of changing it um and in some ways you could say yang wants to change the system he realizes that he can't really change the system and wants to just go back and just live a regular life you know what i'm saying uh, but at the same time you know he just feels this great sense of responsibility to still do something so you have um reinhardt in this situation where he's like yo i want to get to the top so that i can change all of these stupid laws and stuff and make everybody regular all these nobles and bullshitters who think they're just so high in society and stuff like that um you know we 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 go change all of these stupid laws right and then um the society that basically he's just fed up with all the politics and all these old timers um when it comes on to yang right He's just fed up with all of this foolishness, man, with these people. Like, you're living in a, you know, quote-unquote free society, a democratic society, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, there's still all of these systems that are in place that just shouldn't be there. But the thing about it is that he just wants to live a regular life and not fight this war, but he's forced to fight this war because what he feels like he has no choice but to fight in this war as a soldier because he wants to protect the younger generation that is coming up he doesn't want his the, the 14 year old dude that's living with him he don't want him to grow up and have to become a soldier to, to be in war so he he's trying to find a solution he's trying to get to a place and strategize to get to a place where there could be a treaty of some sort where all this fighting that's been going on for over 150 years can stop i really do appreciate that so definitely loving the series um so far man i'm going to continue to react to this series um hopefully i have enough episodes ongoing as we go along so you guys can have a lot of episodes per week and stuff like that as soon as i get back to regular schedule programming so thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all and i will catch you guys for the next one don't forget to like the video don't forget to leave a comment and i will catch you guys later man peace